What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today we're gonna to cover the 14 major objections that come up when you are doing cold approach. That can be at a bar or club doing night game or during the daytime when you were trying to take your home from the streets or the malls. Wherever it may be that you did the cold approach where you walked up to a random stranger and tried to bring her home, there's going to be these main objections that come up. Okay, so I train guys in my courses, which you can find the links in the description, on how to optimally respond to each one, just like they do in the Wolf of Wall Street when they're responding to objections on the phone. He trains the sales team when they say this, you say this. When they say this, you say this, okay? It's the exact same thing in game. So I'm going to tell you what those major objections are. I'm gonna give you the answers to a couple of them, and the remainder of the answers will be found in my eight-week mentorship program where you can jump on a free 30-minute call with me. We'll link in the description if you have interest in that to learn the whole dating game from A to Z and get to an expert level in two months, okay? And if you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below for practical, no bullshit advice every single day. And press the notification bell to be alerted of those new videos, okay? So let's jump right in here. Uh, the most common objection you're going to hear is I can't leave my friends, okay? When you try to take your girl home from a nightclub, she's going to typically say, I can't leave my friends, okay? And this can, there's two different ways to respond to this, okay? So if she says it in the first half of the night, you wanna treat it a little bit differently, okay? A lot of coaches out there say that you can't pull in the first half of the night, but I pull as much, if not more, in the first half of the night than I do in the second half of the night. There's just a different strategy, okay? When you are trying to pull in the first half of the night, you're gonna tell the girl, let's go have some drinks real quick and we'll come right back, okay? So you're, you're making a sell to go do something and then come back, okay? Whereas in the second half of the night, you are trying to convince her, let's go and basically stay there. Let's go do such and such. And then that is going to be what you're doing for the rest of the night. Okay, so there's, I can't leave my friends in the first half of the night and I can't leave my friends in the second half of the night. That's going to be the most common objection by far. It's very, very important to know the response to that. I'm not going to talk about that in this video, but if you click in the description to jump on a free 30 minute call with me and end up taking my mentorship course, I give you all the objections in there. It's also my Occam's Razor course, okay, which is in the link for my complete system in the description as well. Okay, Another objection you will hear typically on the weekdays is the girl saying I have to be up early. Okay, So I will give you the answer to this one. I'll say like blah, 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 we should go and do such and such. Oh, I would, but I have to be up early. Okay, The way you answer this is I'll say uh, what time do you have to be up? And a lot of times it's like 8 a.m. or 7 a.m., whatever it is, whatever time she gives you, let's say she says 8 a.m., you say, oh, that's not a big deal. I have to be up one hour sooner than that. I have to be up at seven. Just come for one drink, okay? So you're making it easier for her to comply. You're acting like you have the same problem, but it's even worse for you because you have to be up an hour early, okay? If the girl says something like, oh, I have to be up at 6 a.m. or whatever, at some really early time, I'll say, oh, I actually have to be up at 5 a.m. And that could be because of your morning routine. It could be because, you know, you can say you're doing construction or, or whatever. You can say whatever the fuck you want, okay, basically. So... Uh, that should help with that. When you hear that she has to be up early, you ask her what time she has to be up, and then you say you have to be up one hour early and that she should just come for one drink, okay? Another objection you'll hear when you try to pull a girl is she's going to say, how will I get home? Okay, so I have an optimized response to that. Another objection you might hear is, but we just got here, okay? So when you're trying to pull early on in the night and the girls have just arrived somewhat recently, they're going to give you the objection that they just got there. Okay, does that matter when you try to pull them? No, not if you know how to answer correctly. Okay, another common one that you'll run into, oh, but I already have plans to do activity X. Okay, say you're at a bar or club. Hey, we should hang out after this. Oh, I would, but I already have plans to do such and such. Okay, say you're out on the street during the daytime. Hey, we should go to my place and hang out for a little bit. Oh, I would, but I have plans to do such and such. Okay, there's a very uh, solid way to answer that and get her to abandon those plans and hang out with you instead, okay? Moving right along, uh, the next big objection, if I came with you, that doesn't mean you're going to sleep with me or they're gonna say something like, you just wanna sleep with me. Some form, there's like the hookup objection, okay? She might say, oh, I'm not that kind of girl, oh, I don't just go back to strangers' apartments, blah, 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 blah. So there's a specific way to answer that where you can diffuse that and basically uh, there's three types of things that I say, but that will diffuse it and take off the sexual pressure so she doesn't think that you have to hook up, okay? Now, when you're dealing with groups, if you are in a nightclub or uh, even on the street, you might hear the objection, I can't come unless this friend comes or I can't come in unless my friends can come. Basically, friends one through X, okay, or N, as I say here on the on the chart, um, on, the, on the list. 
And that is going to be a problem if, if she's refusing to go unless these friends come. So there's a, spe a specific way to deal with that. And again, I train you on these in the Occam's Razor product, which has a link in the description, and also the free 30-minute call. Okay, if you end up signing up for that, I will teach you these as well. These are You need to know these like the back of your hand. A lot of my game is moving things forward from open to close, and you're going to run into objections when you try to pull. You're going to run into objections when you ask for the phone number, when you try to kiss her, even when you open, when you try to isolate. Okay, you're going to run into objections when you're texting. There's going to be logistics objections, safety objections, hookup objections, um, comfort objections. Okay, And there's specific ways of dealing with all those. If she says something of a certain sort over text, I can tell you the exact text to send. It's all defined, predefined in my eight-week mentorship or in the Leads Machine product, which has a link in the description as well. Okay, another one that they might say is, but I just met you, or I don't go home with guys that I just met. So I have a clever response there that's going to make her feel at ease and bypass that, okay? Another objection of the 14 major from Cold Approach are other people coming, okay? There's a specific way to deal with that. Another one is I can't travel very far, okay? She wants to stay close by. There's a way to handle that. Or I can't be gone for very long because I have to do you know, some reason why she has to stay at the venue okay they, she might say oh i have to stay for the headline dj i have to stay um, until the club closes blah 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 blah. okay and then everyone's favorite one last but not least is i have a boyfriend okay and they're gonna say that uh lots of times when they're not interested but if it, if it happens to be a true thing where they actually have a boyfriend there's a very specific way to deal with that okay i'll actually just tell you this one because this one use at your own risk Okay, if you end up banging the chick and she has a boyfriend, that could be a potential safety issue for you. Okay, um, so the way you deal with that is you tell her that you have a girlfriend also. Okay, so since she's taken and you're taken, it's not a big deal that you guys hang out. But I also will demonstrate pre-selection. So I'll say, actually, my girlfriend, blah, 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 does modeling and this and that, which is true in Brazil. And it's usually, I'm usually dating very hot chicks as the main girl or the girlfriend anyways. But you just say like, yeah, I have this girl, she does modeling stuff, and we're kind of like fighting a lot, we're on the rocks. So you want to make it seem like the relationship could end at any moment. That gives her what's called plausible deniability to actually hook up with you. So she thinks that she can go and hang out with you because there's no risk of any cheating happening because you're taken, but you're implying that your girlfriend is hotter than her because she's a model, and you're also implying that the two of you are kind of on the rocks and that you've been fighting a lot. So that way, now it's a possibility that things might happen and then oops things just go and happen but it wasn't pre-planned and she went over there thinking that she was being like a good girl etc okay so it's very important just like uh, anyone that's familiar with sales it's important to know the objections like the back of your hand you're going to run into these almost every single interaction and most guys take them on face value and they think that oh she's actually not interested because she gave me this objection or they think that they cannot pull the girl because she gave some excuse why she can't go. Okay, even when I'm pulling threesomes, back when I was training girls, okay, when I was first doing this with a girl on my channel or the girl before her, I remember that we'd be like just about to pull and then she'd come up and say, oh, oh well, she actually can't go. Well, why not? Oh, she can't leave her friends. I'm like, yeah, they say that 90% of the time. So just say this, boom, okay, now the girl's coming, right? So you have to be able to skillfully navigate the objections that are gonna happen most of the time, the vast majority of the time. They're going to happen during the cold approach, which is the ones we covered in this video. And again, if you want the full list, it's in Occam's Razor, the full list of answers, it's in Occam's Razor, okay? Day Week Mentorship covers all the objections in cold approach, those 14, all the objections in the flow charts of the text, which is also in Lee's machine, and all the objections when you're trying to pull home from a date, and even when you're trying to retain the girl, okay? So it's important to know these like the back of your hand. Like I said, if you'd like to learn the complete list, okay, or, or discuss how it would get you extremely good very fast at the game, jump on a free 30-minute call with me. The link is in the description. And uh, if you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below. I will make future videos going over the other types of objections and, and giving you little hints at those things, okay? This is one of the big value bombs that I don't ever release for free, okay? Even though I'm, I'm now doing full-length infield pulls since my credibility has come under question by a bunch of people slandering me okay, in response to me revealing their scam operations. So I'm compiling a presentation on the side where I'm going to be walking through each and every slander claim that various people have put out. There's a, it's, it's like a full-on nightmare right now. Okay, there's people, just, just know this, 
there's countless fake reviews being put on Reddit about people that t supposedly took my program, but they're putting in details that are completely false. They never took the program. There's fake screenshots people are putting up about me hiring prostitutes and escorts. Those are fake. They were debunked by CoffeeZilla. There's directives from RSD. Oh, we need to sm smear his reputation, and blah, 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 blah. Well, basically, RSD, Modern Life Dating, uh, RSD Max. I, I have direct evidence, even Derek. I have direct evidence uh, that I'm going to compile into, into one big video. Uh, in my ex coach, okay, these people all engaging in mass slander, putting out fabricated reviews, even encouraging people to write fake reviews. I have proof of that as well. Okay, so all this shit that you guys might may or may not have seen. Okay, if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. But there's a lot of fucking slandering happening. That's what happens when you attack like 30 people in the industry for good reason. Okay, I put out actual things that are that are true and they really happen and to show you guys that these guys are full of shit. Okay, but now people are trying to come at me in response as a revenge thing and they're trying to take on the guy that has the most proof by far okay hundreds of infields thousands of pictures hundreds of testimonials countless guys vouching for me etc etc uh watch at the end of this video i'll show you all the metrics the the video and the, the recommended video i'll show you all the metrics where i fucking destroy okay and, and how i'm the the guy with the most proof by far and the people that are slandering me show zero okay or very close to zero so thank you so much for watching I will see you guys in the next video, and I hope that was helpful so now you understand how important objections are and knowing the answers are to getting success in this game. Okay, thank you guys so much, and I will see you on the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.